Oh. Um, Hello. Running man? Aren't you the guy who was being chased by cops not too long ago? Uh, yes. Yeah. What? Oh, trust me, I wasn't doing anything bad. It was self-defense, see? I was getting harassed by some thugs, <laughs> yeah. Who cares about that? All I know is that your running was incredible. Why, thank you for noticing. That's what you're focused on? Just who are you anyway? Running man. Shun Hisaka. Sprinter in track and field. Clearly. I'm glad you dress your profession every day of the week. And you are? Yagami. Yagami? Yagami-san! Alright, Yagami. There's a favor I need to ask. A speed demon like you. What is it? Chase me, Yagami-san. I want you to run after me. Excuse me? What do you mean? <laughs> yes. I want to feel your footsteps right behind me heels. I can't unlock my full potential unless I'm being chased. Okay. Doesn't that mean you only have limited potential in the first place? <laughs> Not at all. Ever since I was little, I've always run like the wind whenever someone chased me. Okay. And if that is the case, why not ask one of your fellow athletes? Those guys just don't understand the concept. That rushy feel when you know you're almost caught? You're running at peak. Peculiar intensity, Yagami-san. Seeing those legs pound the pavement, it's what I've always yearned for. Mmm. I bet if someone like you is barreling down behind me, I unlock a hidden potential within me. Please all ask from Yagami-san. I'll give you something special if you do. Well, alright. Choice of words is horrible. Yes, yes it is. But fine. I guess I'll chase you down. Yes, you're wonderful. So, how will we start this thing? Just chase after me. Let your predatory instinct run wild. I don't even... Let's just get this little was. Ooh, yeah, then. On your mark, get set, go! Alright, Shin. Oops. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god. I wish I could jump over those. Man, he is a fast runner. Right, because that wasn't happening. <sighs> yeah, come on. You were nothing short of amazing. Well, did you unlock any hidden potential? Hi. Ooh, yes. I feel like I got something important during our little job. Here's your reward, as promised. Good. Then I'll be going now. Wait. Um, actually, I still have some more grasping to do. Okay. But, yeah, I grasped something important to a run, but it wasn't full grasp, so please help me again sometime. Mm. Guess I could, if I feel like it. Sounds like a plan. I'll be warming up right here, so please come talk to me whenever you're free, Ayami san. Um, okay, I'll come back to you. You're a baseball guy, okay. Who. Vultures one oh okay. Um let's let's save the site. 
and go to Earth Angel. Meet this newbie. This new person. Not right now. way. Oh, it's over here. Where's Earth Angel? Earth Angel. Earth Angel. Is that caveman? Get out of town. We're about to be friends. Are you gonna tell me where you got your ruby-like weapons? What are you doing here? Huh? What? No cane this time? Well, you're gonna be walking home with crutches. <laughs> cane. Crutches. The heck? Wait, don't tell me. You must be a gummy. The one my little brother's been harping on him. Oh my god, he has a twin. Get out of town. Get out of town right now. Little brother? Yeah. I'm Ryo Sasaki. I'm the guy you fought at. So little building? Hmm. He's my twin brother. Though I'm not a Yakuza like him, but you dress just like him do. <laughs> What's your brother's name though? Uh. I've been calling him Kane Man, so So that's what's going on. You almost had me for a minute there. But dang, you guys look so alike. You don't wear the same clothes. <laughs> so he even started copying my outfit. Doesn't surprise me. <gasps> He's always been trying to one-up me ever since we were kids. The little turd. <laughs> so he looks up to you, huh? I'll assume you're a respectable citizen then. <laughs> yeah, right. My idea of a good day is waking up and drinking till I'm sick. <laughs> then drowning out my thoughts with more alcohol till sundown. Okay, you take it to the extreme, but alright. So you're saying you're an alcoholic? <laughs> oh, alcoholic, such a harsh term. I'm more what you call a free spirit. Someone who consumes spirits freely. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh. Wow, guess you both have changed a lot since you were kids. Sure enough, now I tell you what. You gotta say, drinks are only today. Oh, to make up for all the trouble my little brother caused you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, but only in one condition. You gotta out drink me during it. Who's your treats to wear? Those are the rules. So that's how you've been weaseling free drinks out of people. Nice try, but I'm not falling for it. <laughs> Did I scare you away? You're free to run along if you can't save the pressure. I have a maxed out drinking ability. Let's go. Let's do this. You talk like you're a pretty heavy drinker, but then again, so am I. You're ready to start when you are. Now you're talking. Then let's get our drink on. Well, well, looks like you can hang after all. Good, cause I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> ah, you sure can handle your liquor. But can you handle another round? <laughs> I guess you really weren't all talk. Why don't we call it a day? Uh. Sure. Damn. I thought I'd lose when it comes to drinking booze. I gotta rebuild myself from scotch or er, scratch. <laughs> Guess today's drinks are on my time, eh? Those are the rules. Oh, we doing this a couple well, times. Yeah. All right. Cheers to you then. As long as you're buying. I'm not even drunk. Now let's see, do I have... Really shouldn't be in my way. Do I have any stories? To tell this guy. Nice to see you. 
Hey there, gotta give you my yeah. More than air, come on over. Come on over, come on over, baby. It's really sure interesting cases. Mm. Sure thing. Let's see. Oh, money. There was a meeting fortune teller I ran into a couple of times. It was like she actually had the power to sense bad luck on the person. That does sound amazing. However, <clears throat> Kama Richard is about to be swallowed in a sea of flames. How frightening. Yet, I'm rather curious as to what my fortune would be. <laughs> Jeez. You have another interesting case to share? Please let me know. I'll probably be here washing away my writer's box. Hey. <clears throat> sure then, see you next time. Okay. Is that it for new people? Alright. <sighs> Let's get out of this maze. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My charming Hasaku face. Steamy Ono Michi Ramen Hot. Cute fish pouch. Cool boots vital for any fisherman. And my bold <coughs> and shiny Ono shirt. That's right. <coughs> I'm the pride of Ono Michi. Ono Michio. <laughs> what the heck? Weird. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Ono Michio's producer, Hironaka. How about it, sir? Would you like a destination tour with Ono Michio's very own Ono Michio? I take you some kind of local mascot? Exactly. Have you heard of him? He's from Ono Michi, Hiroshima. A Debonar fisherman with a great love of sea. Sorry, first I'm hearing of it. Guess we still got our cut out for us. Maybe it's not quite refined though. Only we could do it like him. <sighs> Sounds like the mascot business is pretty harsh. Like Kiryu? Ain't nobody like Kiryu Yo, though. <laughs> hey there mister, nice to meet you. Aren't you? Hey, me joking. That's not right. Remember? You're supposed to say, nice to meet you. When you read someone. <laughs> Say it. Whatever, dude. <sighs> He's gonna quit and I'm gonna have to wear it. What kind of attitude is that? You're ruining our mascot. Ah, my apologies. You shouldn't have to see that. Right. I'll be on my way then. Really? That was it? What if I leave the area? Oh, okay. 
okay. Let's go here. Do I know any other people? Shouldn't be in my way. You know what? Let's go. Uh, let's see. Do I have anyone? Damn it. Who is the last person? <laughs> let's do this again. Yes, I am. Sure, I might even run you over if you're not careful. That's the spirit. Then, my mark is set. Go. Maybe you're the last person. Because all you care about is running. Cheated, sir. Oh, shit. Oh, we going into this place. I was right on you, though. Well, did you get something out of it? <laughs> this sensation, a rush of adrenaline, a being sneakers thundering down a million streets, echoing across the cost. I'm assuming you've crossed your inner potential. Hi. You better believe I did. Basically, my problem is that I was trying to run too fast. Ugh, what? Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Yeah, I realized I was putting way too much stress and speed in my novel form, which resulted in instability. But when you were chasing me, I was only focused on the thrill of almost being caught. That helped me block out of any necessary thoughts, stabilize my form, and help me maintain my top speed. That is kind of incredible. I don't really get it, but I'm glad you grasp your inner potential. Hi. Yes, it's all thanks to you. Okay, Hi, hey, friends. We are. To show my proper gratitude, I put in a little more than last time. Why, thank you. 
Sweet. Oh, and please take this too. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't much use to me, so I thought you'd get a kick out of it. Or I could just throw it away. You know what? I'll take it. Why not? A book on combat techniques. That actually might come in handy. Alrighty, well, I better get ready for my next competition. <laughs> Chase your dreams, Isako Kun. Yep, and I'll be starting with Japan's national record. Catch you later, man. Now you. Do you have anything for me? <clears throat> no, you don't. <clears throat> hmm. Level 35 or higher. Level 45 or higher. What is my current city reputation? don't know. Okay. Anyways, let's make friends with Mari. Gabo. Come to cheer me up. What do you mean? You're as reading as ever. Well, I haven't been working as much, so... Meh. <laughs> ah, work. Right. No. So, any chance you want to make tonight more interesting with another bet? Okay. This loser still have to pay. Jotto. Really? You're worried about losing before the waiters even need? Uh. Yep, fine, let's do it. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's see here. How about we bet on whether the next customer a guy or a girl? Ah, oh, shite. But... That's completely up to luck. <laughs> exactly. That's what makes it so exciting. I'm gonna bet on the fair sex and say girl. Double. Any objections? Uh, it was your idea. I guess I'll use it with the eye. <laughs> Then let the contest begin. Luck, be a lady tonight, hm? Oh, oh. Hey, Thaw, just so you know, Mari's been throwing them back. She's coming for your wallet. Hard, if you yeah. lose. Again? Really? Then luck, be a Jew tonight, please. <laughs> this is taking forever. I'm gonna head to the ladies' room for a minute. Am I about to finesse the situation? I'm going to finesse the situation. Hmm. Wait a second. Who says it has to come down to luck? Would it really be so wrong? <clears throat> I got someone over right now. I mean, she just not at all. She had to be thinking the same thing. Well, it's on then. Who, who should I call up? Genda. <laughs> Kaito. He just got shot. Tsukumu. Ah, <laughs> uh, he got shot. He's really old, I don't think this is his scene. And this is definitely his scene. How about Sukuma? Bet Mari would never see him coming. Hmm. Hello? What can I do for you, Gamshi? Sorry to bug you, Sukuma. But I need you to come to Tinder right away. Huh? A bar. Me? Please? I know it's tough. But if you do me a solid and do it quick. I don't really get it, but if it's that important to you, sure. Sorry, and things. Seriously though, I need you to bust your ass. <laughs> He's gonna come through, won't he? All right, now win for sure. On it. Ta. What are you up to just now? N nothing. Nothing. And I'm so sure you take the opportunity to call out one of your boys. Oh come on. You never do something like that. Probably. Certainly not. Besides, it would have been pointless if you had. And why would that be? 
anyone who would consider calling is probably off drinking at another bar by now. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> I mean, if you were going to call someone, it'd be Kaita son or Kinda son. Kinda sensei, am I right? Ah, shit. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't them, Michael. Boys will be boys, not that I'm worried. I had a contingency plan already. Okay. It couldn't be you last time. And this thing simply doesn't suit me, so. Don't tell me. <laughs> I may or may not have come here to call to an acquaintance of my own. On top of that, I invited Kaito Kun and Ginda Sensei to my other friend's bar. Oh, you're good. Respect. Respect. <laughs> wow. Should I do my victory dance now or later? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Yagamishi. Oh, for some reason I thought this little kid that was always trying to make me find my friends to listen to that bar. Wasukumo, I forgot about you. <laughs> Glad this worked out. <laughs> Jeez, took you long. Wait, who the heck are you? <laughs> Sukumo. Yagami Shi's friend. I forgot he refers to Yagami as Yagami Shi. Totally slipped my mind. <laughs> That's not who I <laughs> Perfect time, Sukumo. Make yourself at home. <laughs> This kind of, this kind pretty lady is putting the bill on drinks for you and I tonight. Hey, you mind telling me what's going on here? Sure. I thought it was suspicious how you left your seat all of a sudden and blatantly gave me an opening. <laughs> Factoring that in, I figured you made a deal with some of our mutual places like Kaito-san and Ginta sensei So I had to dig into my deeper circles. You know, I've got connections all over town, don't you? <laughs> Not bad, talk. Not bad at all. Mm. On that note, where is that friend of mine? You can all drink together once she arrives. You're a treat. Aww. Ooh, was it supposed to go down like this? And we're friends. We're at level 37. Okay. Can't believe I actually pulled it off. But damn, Mari's no joke either. Okay. Friends of Mari now. Um Vultures Woman. Let's go see her. Did we ever get her name? I know I lost terribly. I'm trying to gamble against her. Because that is not my forte. Not right now. tables again, are we? Yep, I'm all out of martinis too, so I wouldn't mind playing, playing with you for a bit. Ready to get started? Sure. Ooh. I'll take you on. Oh, I won't go down easy, you know. I'm sure there's any window there. Uh, welcome to the poker table, ladies and gentlemen. I wish you all the best of luck. My problem is that I don't know poker. Uh, don't bet anything. Okay. 
sure. Are you leaving already? Today's just not my lucky day. You'll have days like that. I'll just see you again next time. How? What? Wait a minute. Beauty. Real. I wish oh, is a virtuous woman. Do I have to beat her? God damn it. Anything with poker? I don't think so. I will donate to this. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, donate to that. Let's go back to Ono Michi. No, thank you. <laughs> Did he rob someone with the mascot suit on? Get out of town. Weird mask call I saw earlier. Wait. Uh oh. Beef. Someone stop him. Beef. Oh no, Michio Bandit. <laughs> Ugh. How could you let this happen? Aren't you in charge of that costume mania? Well, yes I am. For all the good it's doing. I don't... What's going on? 
Hey, have we met before? Yeah, we have. Girls bar. Made in girls. What? Well, I thought you said something about a thief. I did. I don't know, Michi. I thought I just brought my convenience store. And a mascot is on some kind of crime spree? No, no. This is all a huge misunderstanding. I, I know what I saw. Mm. Boy, oh, well, whoops. See, what do you mean? The kid I hired to play on Amici was a boy named Amici Murica. But he was unhappy with the part, so he texted me that he would be quitting. And rather rudely, I may add. He said I quit. I left your dumb costume on the side of the street. He dumped your mascot outfit on the side of the huh? Yes, and he didn't even wait later. So I've been searching all over for it. But that's when I caught one of Ono Michio committing a robbery, and now we're all cut up. So some opportunistic bastard saw a mascot costume on the street and decided to rob a store. Hi. That seems to be the way of it. I know. I'm sorry, but why did your worker quit like that? What would cause him to be so careless? It's probably because he couldn't handle the pressure that comes with being on a meteor. How much pressure could it be? Well, the guy we had doing on a meteor before was incredible at it, and I guess Nishimura kun felt inferior. You should feel inferior when you're compared to Kiryu. He just couldn't express the refinement. Maturity. All the things his predecessor had and more. So it probably got to his head and rather than try harder, he just up and quit. I would too if he'd constantly compare him to Kirio, man. So you have no idea who could be in the costume right now. Oh. Right. Well, you have to consider that Nishimura could have lied about throwing the costume away. It would be a perfect alibi to say he threw it away and then go rob a store with it. That rascal caught me completely off guard. I'll have you know. And it is all your fault. I lost 500,000 yen in cold hard cash. Don't you think we should prioritize finding Ono Michio before anything worse happens? Hey, guys. How about Ono Michio? I saw a long side of Kate Charles. Eh? What? Then there's no time for talk. Let's go catch him. Yeah, I I'm going to. <laughs> this one went well. I should probably go see what's going on. Oh. <laughs> they leave the money back? Oh no, the costume has been abandoned. So the suspect came through here. Oh. Sure seems that way. Let's take a look inside. Oh. Now, fess up! Who just robbed me? Well, there's Yakuza here, so they, they're also suspects. Is you okay? Yeah. You don't knock us out? What are you doing here? Why did you quit your job and then go loaf around an arcade? Well, he is a kid. I'm sorry. His job? Are you saying this is the guy who was in the Ono Michio costume? Hi. Yes, this is him. Nahiyato. That means he's a thief. Wait, a thief? This has got to be some kind of awful coincidence. Oh sure, a coincidence. Don't lie to us. It's true, though I, I was pretty pissed about the umpteen lecture, so I came here to blow off steam. You're pissed at me? I've been in here all day, I swear. Besides, the guys who came in after me were shadier. Soto. Hey, don't drag us into this mess. Yeah, I just wanna play some games in peace, man. You look suspicious, Daisuke. Are these the only four guys who've entered the arcade? That's the case. And he's one of you as the culprit. <laughs> Not it? I can never pull off a robbery. You guys all suspect me then? That's not right. <laughs> What's it you? Did anyone see someone taking off the Ono Michio costume by any chance? That's the same question before you came, but no one saw anything. 
Listen, you bunch. I'm gonna call the cops. Everybody stay put. Got it? <laughs> Ooh. What was that for? Huh? Calm the fuck down, man. We don't want the cops sniffing around here. Well, you don't, do you? Well, that sounds pretty suspicious to me. Why is that? It wasn't that bad of yours while I'm at it. It's got nothing to do with it, and I don't have to show you shit. Is that because you look guilty if you did? Shut up. I'm leaving. I'm afraid not. <laughs> move, or I'll make you move. You want me to move the bat? Show me what's in the bat. The man's got guts, I gotta admit. Hey, why don't we all just calm down? Can't we talk this out? Yeah, someone's gonna get hurt if we're not careful. If only a great detective burst onto the scene like in those crime dramas on TV. Well, I'm a detective, but busting onto the scene isn't exactly my style. Why should I do bust onto the scene? <laughs> uh, hey guys. I'm actually a detective. Huh? You are? Hi. Yeah, my name's Yagami. I run a detective agency in Kamarucho. How convenient. Then do something about this, would you? Please, Yagami san. I want to meet you with honors and stay here. I honestly don't think Nishimura is capable of robbery. Huh? You believe me? I don't want to believe I could hire a robber. It would bring down the whole city's reputation if I did that. You may not be a hard circuit yet, but I don't think you're a robber. You don't like a son. There's a lot of stake, huh? I'll see what I can do. Let's go one day straight, though. I don't care if you're a detective. You can't see my stuff. Is it embarrassing stuff? That just means I'm gonna have to resort to logical deductions, I guess. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes your way through the Check the suspect's bed, check the robber's costume. Oh, there's a cat. Here, kitty kitty, where are you? Hmm. First things first. Gotta find the cat. Chance for the money they sold somewhere else. Why would he switch back so? Hmm? So they do the costume away here. Nobody seems to have noticed it happen. Oh, yes, she you know. This is the knife the robber used. I doubt it's the over checking for prints. That's right. Oh no, he's your class after all. Yeah, and that's exactly. Well, there haven't been any cash in this pouch. Nope. Well, it probably wouldn't still be there if there was. I got a good inventory of our robber's bones. Who thought? Something's missing. What is it? What's missing that a robber dressed as Ono Michi would have is the, the gloves? Ono Michi should have be wearing white gloves. Alright, I don't see them anywhere. I guess they got rid of them out of fear that they could trace his fingerprints from them. 
You need careful thief when there's such incriminating evidence lying around. Guess you could always burn the glass pretty easily, too. But there's something else missing. Uh. Essence of refinement. Shoes, the boots! I don't see his boots. You're right, his cool boots. Vital friendly fisherman. When a robber gets caught in the eye, an employee can throw a paint ball at him to stain his shoes. And if the clerk did that, you can safely assume the culprit's shoes would be stained. Which means we should get a good look at each suspect's shoes. But there's something else missing too. Oh! Gloves, shoes. <sighs> Is it white pants? I mean, she should be wearing white pants, but they're not here. Now that you mention it, you're right. Robbers wearing white pants too. That I mean, the robber committed the deed in his own white pants. What makes you say that? When Nishimura came over with the costume, he always brought his own white pants. Well, if he took them off, he'd be basically running around in his underwear, so he wouldn't have shit. So I think it's safe to assume the robber was wearing his own white pants. Ah, I get it. That means the culprit is most likely still dressed in white pants. Oh. Putting everything that was lacking. Okay. Everything that was missing are the white gloves, white pants, and cool boots. There's a chance that the gloves were discarded. The culprit may still be wearing white pants and boots. I'm not sure. I believe the robber was wearing sneakers, not Onomichio's cool boots. I guess those boots would be hard to run in. But if the anti that paintball was used, then they may still be wearing sneakers stained with paint. I guess I will have just to discard the boots too. Alright. Also on my <laughs> hand. Yeah, do you think I'm trying too hard? I'm going to a group blind date after this and I want to look suave. You know how hard it is to make white pants work. That's why I went with ankle length white pants to cap it. Really like I really like a care look. Okay, that's one way to go about it. But then I top it off with this boot with this cashmere curtain that says, Hey ladies, I'm sure. Oh god. So I like, hope you do well at your date. Tote bag, and you can probably peek inside. Feel free to have a look. I'm not worried. Sure, let's see what you got. A wallet with a few thousand yen and some candy. <laughs> see? Although I guess you could hide the real deal somewhere on the car cape. Oh. You don't carry a bag? Yeah, I've got pockets for that. So the bag in the hallway is in yours? Bag in the hallway? Me. I ain't even looked in the hallway since this whole mess started, man. He really doesn't know about the bag? Or is he playing dumb? You're wearing sandals. Kind of uncommon in the winter, wouldn't you say? Yeah, but I live pretty close by and putting on shoes sucks. Yeah, I know that feeling. He's not wearing sneakers and there's no anti that paint on him. Pretty clean so far. Stained by anti thin paintball. These must be the sneakers the robber was wearing. He knew he needed to discard the shoes, so he ditched them. Damn. Ah. Yeah, I'm sorry, don't forget, Onamichi was supposed to wear cool boots. File for any fishing. I can't believe the thief wouldn't commit a crime wearing sneakers instead. Yeah, I guess he was thinking more about how to get away than how to catch a fish. Bad news is the shoes might be a dead end. Our culprit isn't wearing them still. Okay. Hmm? White pants, same color as forever. Huh? Well, yeah, I have to wear them if they don't want to. So you texted your boss if you quit, then threw away the costume. Likely story. You probably kept the costume so you could rock me. That's not true. I can't rule out the possibility despite whatever faith Hironaka seems to have in him. Hmm. <laughs> 
Wait, are those boots? Yeah, but one of me wears cool boots that are vital for any fisherman. Oh, so your boots aren't cool, I guess. He's not wearing sneakers and I don't see any paint. Hmm. These aren't boots, and, and there's not a spot anti that pound. Probably not it. If he's the culprit, that would mean he's changed his shoes. Why is she White pants. That's the same color as what I'll meet you wears. What are you looking at? Nothing. That won't be enough proof. Oh no. You really don't want me to see what's in his bag. What are you staring at? I just want to know. Why are you so intent on hiding what's in the bag? You really want to see it? Fine. You can play the viewing fee with your life. If it's that important, huh? Just let it go, man. I'm not joking about killing you. Gotta say, the links are going to make sure we don't see that bag are pretty suspicious. Hey, did you see anything? Anything in my house? Huh? No, I'm still thinking in the back. Useless. Uh, did I get your shoes? Sandals, ankle length pants? Wouldn't that be pretty cold? Exactly. Um. What are you looking at? Just wondering why you wear sandals in the winter. In this weather, especially with pants like that. Sandals? Oh, crap. What is it? <laughs> oh, just lost something that's all. It's nothing. Mm. I think you get the feeling he ain't even realized he was wearing sandals. <sighs> Wasn't that kind of suspicious? Yeah, I should probably take a closer look at those sandals. Sandals, oh, where? Eh? Hmm? They say Charles on a hill. That's the arcade we're in. Did you write these here or something? Yeah, you figured it out. What do you mean? Well, I changed into these and I went to the bathroom, but I forgot to switch back. Um, does that mean I'm suspect? We don't know anything for sure yet, but you're pretty suspicious, sir. There is a bag I'm missing. Something is. What's back here? One stall bathroom. I look, but everything seemed fine. I see. Your backpack. Maybe I take a quick look in your bag? Uh, sure. There's no money in there. There's a wallet and some plushie he probably won in the claw machine. Where'd you hide my money, punk? Told you, I didn't do it. It has to be somewhere in this arcade, but where? Done investigating your gummy sign? Hey. Yes, I got what I needed. And I have a pretty good idea who the culprit is.
You do? Who is it? Ah! What? Don't keep us waiting. There's enough evidence and deductions that can make a pretty compelling case here. The body tells us more about a person than you might think. Oh, great. I'm starting to sound like a TV detective. Wow. I feel like I heard a detective on TV say that. So, you want to tell us who's the robber and where's my money? So it was definitely the guy with the sandals. I'll accuse the person by talking to him. <laughs> it was you. You switched out the boots. You're wearing Charles sandals because you threw away the boots. Yeah. You're saying you suspect me? Is this the guy who did it? Yeah. Objection. <laughs> No. Yes, you're the Ono Michio Bennett. He has a very long finger. Me? Where's your approval? Hey. You left some evidence of the scene that clearly points to your efforts to cover it up. You see that or the boots. Your sandals are proof that you're trying to cover something up. What do you mean? I already explained why I'm wearing them. I changed when I went into the bathroom. I forgot to switch my shoes. I shouldn't show this now. We'll just push it this way. I need something a little clearer. Shoto. Come on, detective. You can't just keep me. You don't have any proof. Oh, okay. Um. It's really not these sandals? What evidence raises the possibility Canada is covering up the crime? This is what you're proving. Yeah. You're uh -huh. mm. You know, I was wondering. <laughs> He'll call me out. But no, seriously. Yeah. Yes. You're the culprit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is it the boots? I'm just gonna go through every. Sneakers is on the way to trash can. They're stained with anti theft paintball, too. Yeah. I'm glad I threw it at the feet. Anyone would know you came in a car with the amount of paint on your shoes. So, of course, you have to Hold on a sec. What proof do you have? I'm the one who threw them away. Stop playing dumb. There's proof for yeah. you right now. Ah.